All right, everyone, welcome. And today we're going to be doing the Star Wars um, Han Speeder from Solo. As you can see, I got it primed. It comes molded in blue, and it's actually really nice. Um, as you can see there, there's the wing. That's the color it comes molded in. But we're going to be doing it up in this nice Tamiya blue, so that's going to be in the next update. All right, well, the paint, on, paint went on really good. I can't speak today. That's the other part right there. And, um, yeah, this is definitely a really good, it's called Brilliant Blue, and it's a really good match. Um, it's gonna give us a lot more to work with. I could have just kept it plastic, you know, because it is very similar to the plastic color it came molded in. But I think it's just gonna help a lot more when it comes to scratching the vehicle with paint and doing washes and stuff like that. Because I don't want this to be a very shiny vehicle. I want it to be kind of worn and everything. I mean, it'll still have a sheen to it, but not like 100%. So let's just keep going. Luckily, I'm working with Tamiya paint, which dries very, very quickly. But as you can see, like within like 20 minutes, <laughs> you're able to, not even 20 minutes, like 10 minutes, you could snap this thing together fairly quickly. Uh, it's really cool. I really like this thing. I think it's a really, really cool thing. A uh, little cool speeder. There's the dashboard. Uh, and, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this. So, yeah. Let's... All right. So, I'm so glad that that paint dries so quickly. I haven't really been here that long, but this thing snaps together so well, and it goes together so well. I love it so much. Awesome kit. We used, again, the Brilliant Blue. We primed it, painted it, and had this thing together in like two hours. So this thing has been a really fun, small little project. We painted that little hose black because I looked behind the scenes and this is in fact black. And there's just a bunch of little details here. Next up is gonna be weathering. What I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking some brushes. I'm gonna take this little sponge. I'm gonna rip some chunks off of it. And we're just gonna go ahead and scratch up the vehicle and everything and then we're going to do some washes this thing's going to look cool that's going to be next probably going to show the final product in the next all right well i'm starting to record where i have some better light but as you can see i've started to do some of the washes in there i did some of the weathering next we're going to hit the entire vehicle with a black coat with a black um wash and i think i'm going to use a different color a uh, different type of acrylic paint that i have as you can see, it's still drying in there and some here, but I did the exhausts, as you can see, and they're done with some soot from the Tamiya weathering kits to kind of make it look like it gets hot. And I'm not going to try to hit these. I want them to look like they're a different kind of metal than everything else. Uh, that's still drying. I accidentally got some silver paint on there, but that's no big deal. We can just paint right over it. But um, yeah, next video, probably going to be... All right. And it's done. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Um, I think it looks really cool. Um, I was just actually just watching a video on it. Someone was reviewing a toy. There's a toy that came out of it. Um, and it's really weird. Um, <laughs> it's actually really funny. The guy who was reviewing it, like, hated the design of it. He's like, what the hell is this thing? And, like... <laughs> He's like, it's so ugly and everything, and like, he's like, it looks like a book, and like, really like making fun of it and everything. It was pretty funny, um, which I find funny because like, I find like the Millennium Falcon to be ugly, but everyone loves that. Like, it's such an ugly and weird design that everyone loves, but apparently people can't be open to this design. All right. <laughs> While it might not be everyone's thing, I really like this thing. Um, I think it's really cool. Well, I'm not bashing the Millennium Falcon, by the way. I do love that thing. I, I do want to build one of those, so that is going to happen eventually. Um, I really like this thing. I think it looks awesome. Um, it's just a really cool little speeder. As you can see, I, I did a lot of weathering since last time. It got into all, like, the little crevices, all the little details. Now, the kit does come with little stands for you to put inside, like, the body it snaps into. And you can kind of fold them and unfold them. I didn't really care for those, especially since I was going to be painting it. I didn't want to have to, like, mess it, mess with it or anything. So I left those off, and I just used that little clear display stand that I got with a DeLorean. So... Yeah, I don't really use it for the DeLorean anyway, so I'm just going to use it for this. 
Let me go ahead and show the details up close since last time. A little bit of rust, a little bit of dry brushing, some rust here and there to kind of make it look more grimy. A little bit of rust there. It's a little bit plain there. It wasn't anything too interesting. I just wanted to make it look a little bit different. You can see I added some powders here by, um, what are they called? Uh, Tamaya. Yeah, Tamaya weathering kits. I used the soot and I just rubbed it all along there to give it the impression that the metal gets really hot and it's like darkened. I like that it still has a shine to it, but the vehicle still looks really dirty. Uh, this still works. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't really think I'm going to be using that too much. A little bit of wash gun on there, but you know what? Not big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. So yeah, I weathered up all the sides of it. I just used my own black wash for this. I used um, different washes for this. This was done with Citadel Nun Oil. Null oil, I can't say it. Same with this. And then I did the entire blue vehicle, the blue parts, with my own homemade wash, which was a mix of the paint that I used for this, which is this weird um, black acrylic paint that I have. And I just ran it with, in water, mixed it up, and covered the entire vehicle with it. And, um... <laughs> you can see that that's not painted because um that piece is actually attached to the piece that makes sound so looks a little bit weird the only piece on here that the big piece that isn't painted is this big black piece here but i don't think it matters i still think it looks pretty good so yeah, I really dig it. It's not everyone's thing. Uh, I know Solo is kind of a trash movie. Um, but, you know, for what it is, I dig this thing. It's not everyone's thing. Everyone thinks it's ugly, but that's typically what my life is like. <laughs> I find something cool and everyone thinks it's ugly. That's pretty much how my life goes. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time.